All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'm the brother of Rock from the gym at Salana Church. Back with another lesson through the Spirit, Lord. Willing the lesson be edifying to an elect member too. I want to give all praise, glory, honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting their life on the line to do so. So, uh, back at you, you know, through the Spirit with a lesson. Um, and in this particular lesson, I'm going to be uh, dealing with the suffix uh, ish, okay? Because th th there's people that are walking around, you know, claiming to be uh, the real Jews, man, all right? Claiming to be the, the nation of Israel, okay? And all the word Jew uh, means is to be from the tribe of Judah. Okay, <clears throat> they'll walk around and call themselves uh, uh, Jews or Jewish, but hey, there's eleven other tribes, man. Okay, so in this particular, just in this particular lesson, I'm going to deal with uh, the suffix ish. Okay, because these uh, these Amalekites that are over in our land, man, are actual Edomites. Okay, they're not from the tribe of Israel. Neither one of the tribes, whether it be Jew, Issachar. Or would it be Judah, Issachar, Levi, okay, none of those, Benjamin, Gad, you know, they're, 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 they're heathens, okay, they're from the tribe of Edom, okay, so, um, and as you know, man, or if you're living on the rock, you may not know that the Lord was only sent to the nation of Israel, all right, for salvation, contrary to popular belief, you know, because these Christians and these other denominations, um, and which the word Christian just means, you know, anointed. And who are the anointed ones according to the scriptures? The Israelites. Okay. But um, that's another topic for another lesson. But um, dealing with, you know, the, the, the topic at hand, you know, uh, the Christians and these other denominations um, and these, these religions, uh, they claim, you know, to be. Uh, or if you just call it anybody that call upon the name of the Lord and accept him as their Lord and Savior, you know, shall be saved. You know, John 3 and 16, you know, all that uh, uh, BS. But that's that's totally untrue, man. The Lord is only sent to the nation of Israel, man. Salvation is only for the nation of Israel. If you're from one of the 12 uh, prospective tribes, man, that are, that are, um, uh, that are stemmed from uh, uh, Jacob, okay? Um, so this is dictionary.com ish. It says, uh, belonging to after the manner of having the characteristics of or like. Okay. So you're not actually that something that you're being, com being compared to. You, uh, are pertaining to of uh, have characteristics of. All right. And some of the examples it has is babyish. If someone calls an adult babyish, that doesn't actually mean that that adult is a baby okay he's just acting as if he was a baby or he's acting out different characteristics of a baby okay girlish okay if you call a grown woman or a man girlish you know they're not actual a girl you know they're a man or a woman but they're acting as if they are you know a girl and it's the same thing with these jews all right we are the real jews man the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, which salvation is only for, all right? So, matter of fact, I'm going to start in uh, the book of Psalms, all right? Pretty much you can you can close the book, man, on, on this uh, particular precept here, you know. Uh, this is uh, Psalms 147, 19. It said, he showed his word unto Jacob. And who's Jacob, the, the the progenitor of the twelve tribes of Israel? You know his his twelve sons, starting with um, the the southern kingdom on down to the northern kingdom, man. All right. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel, he have not dealt so with any other any. He have not dealt so with any nation. All right. It said he sure of his word and his stake statutes unto Jacob. All right, not Jacobish, all right, not is Israelish, all right, to Jacob and Israel, all right. It said he even he have not dealt so with any nation. 
and as his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Okay. Another cut, man. You know, these, these scriptures are, are, are plain, you know, uh, to those with understanding, you know, but to those that are still walking around here brainwashed, you know, from uh, uh, Esau's doctrine and his twisting and deceit, uh, deceiving of the scriptures, they still believe, you know, uh, these certain strongholds that Esau have pu has pushed upon our people to keep us, you know, in this state or form of deep sleep. This is Matthew uh, chapter 15 and verse 24. Um, I started at 23 It says but but he answered Her not a word And his disciples came and besought him Saying send her away For she cried after us And these are uh, words uh, Of Yahweh Shai man there in red Verse 24 which is the point But he answered and said I have not sent I have not sent But unto so like I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Alright. So like yeah. So hey, hey, and hey, when we go out too and we uh preach this gospel, you know, and push these videos, we're only, you know, uh pushing this word out and uh trying to gather the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. We're not doing it for no Edomites, you know, no Amalekites, no Cushites, you know. Any of those other nations, man. Only the nation of Israel, Moab, none of them, okay? Ham, nobody, all right? Just for the lost sheep of the, uh, of the nation of Israel, man, from one of the 12 perspective tribes. All right? Not nobody that's like an Israelite or has characteristics of an Israelite. No, all right? Because there are certain people that do have characteristics of being an Israelite. You know, they may have melanin, dark skin, you know, but it's not a thing of color, okay? Your line has to go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And that's the only way that you'll be saved, according to the scriptures, okay? So, if you go back to the definition, you know, of Ish, it says, uh, after the manner of having characteristics of or like. If you're like an Israelite or like a Jew, okay, you're not necessarily it, okay, you just have certain characteristics, all right, and that's not going to ultimately uh, be your token uh, on a chariot, you have to come from the, uh, the line of Israel, and you also have to be the elect of the nation of Israel, all right, or, or the one third that are going to uh, make it on the chariot, okay, because two thirds of our people have to be cut off and die, man, thus save the Lord. Okay. This is the book of Acts, chapter five. And verse uh I started verse thirty, Acts five and thirty, the most high of his father. The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hang upon the tree. He hath the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. Okay, not anybody that are he. It didn't say he came to give repentance to people that are like Israelites or people. Uh, that have characteristics of Israelites, no, to the nation of Israel, man, and to and to forgive, you know, our sins, okay, because the law was given into the nation of Israel, therefore, we are the only ones that can, you know, sin or transgress the law, okay. One more precept, you know, quick, straight to the point, you know, Lord willing it, you know, it'd be edifying, you know. And that's the best way to get your point across, man. You know, I learned that from uh, Apostle Gabar, man. He he always says, you know, it's quick, straight to the point. You know, it's the easiest, it's the easiest way to, uh, you know, uh, uh, give understanding. This is uh, Second Edris chapter six, and um, start at around fifty-three. 
Yep, verse 53 it says, Among the sixth day thou gavest commandments unto the earth, that before thee it should bring forth beasts, cattle and, cattle and creeping things. And after these Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all the creatures. All right. Adam, you know, which is uh, man, you know, is, is, you know, above all the creatures upon the face of the earth. All right. We're able to be uh, complex thinkers. You know, we're able to hunt, you know, and, and, and ultimately we have uh, intelligence, you know, over the over these other creatures, man, and, and very complex uh, bodies and, and, and brains, man. Okay. So we've been set above all the other creatures. All right. The human. It says, after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all creatures, of whom we come all. All right. So we all came from. Uh, Adam, you know, the 12 tribes, you know, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, um, you know, the, 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 the forefathers of the tribe, all of us, you know, we stem from Adam, you know, even the heathens, you know, the Hamites, the Amalekites, the Amorites, you know, uh, the Hittites, the Jebusites, you know, so on and so forth, man, all of them stem from Adam, okay, but there's a distinction between all of those other nations and the nation of Israel, all right, the Lord has chosen a particular people, man. Okay. So, uh, verse, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. All right. So, there's a separation. All of the people. And also, there's a people who the Lord chose out of, you know, Adam. And who is that? The nation of Israel. All right. The Israelites. Verse 55, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. As for the other people, all right, the Lord didn't even go into naming them uh, uh, specifically. He just said, as for the other people, all right, and the other people are those that are outside of the chosen line of the nation of Israel, which also come of Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing, <laughs> nothing, okay? But be like unto spittle, and have likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Okay, so you know, matter of fact, <laughs> uh, to um, just to um, you know, throw salt on the wound, so to speak. I'm gonna go to the Book of Revelations, man. All right. So Revelation describes, you know, the gates of heaven and those are that are going to be let in. All right. And it doesn't say any of these other nations, man. It only has the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel on those gates, man. All right. Revelation 7 and I started one. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor on any tree and what does the wind represent all right destruction the lord is holding back the four winds you know in the four corners of the earth to the elected seal all right um but then after the elected seal man you know all hell is going to break loose all right that wind is going to be released that destruction uh verse two and i saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living power and he cried with a loud voice unto the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. All right, once the elect the seal. Verse 3, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Okay? That, that exemption, man, from judgment, till it is sealed in the foreheads of the uh, 144,000. All right? Verse 4, and I have heard the number in which, which were sealed, and there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the nation of Israel. All right. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Naphtali were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon. All right. And as I keep reading, there's not going to be any other nation <laughs> uh, uh, mixed into this, man. All right. 
No other nation is going to make up the 144,000, all right? 12,000 from each 12 tribe, which equals 144,000. You know, there's no way around it, man. This is just throwing salt on the wound. It says, or the tribe of Levi will sell 12,000, or the tribe of Issachar will sell 12,000, or the tribe of Zebulun will sell 12,000, or the tribe of Joseph will sell 12,000, and other tribe of Benjamin will sell 12,000, all right? So, man, hey, it ain't no wiggle room, man, to, to, to get in, all right? Not being ish or Jewish, all right? Or like or pertaining to, man. No, you have to be of the, the nation of Israel, man, to make it into the kingdom of heaven, all right? So, you know, Lord willing, you know, the lesson was edifying, giving all praise, glory, honor to Yahweh, Shimei, Shai, Shalom.